The world is a very different place than it was just a couple of weeks ago. The entire world is either already in some sort of lockdown or well on its way to being in one. Some of us are lucky. My team all works from home and although a few projects have been halted, we thus far still have enough work to keep everyone employed. But for all of us that work at businesses that are doing okay right now, there are a ton of small businesses that aren't doing well at all. There are over 30 million small businesses in the United States alone, so just imagine that number on a worldwide scale. This economic shutdown is going to have a lasting impact on many of these businesses, and in fact, we'll never see a lot of them recover. If those businesses can't make it through these troubling times, then the employees that work at those companies won't have jobs to return to. I don't know how it scales out to apply to the whole world, but in the US, almost 50% of jobs are at small businesses. This is going to be a huge, long-lasting hit to the world's economies. Make no mistake about it. This is a world-altering event whose impact will be felt for a very long time. And that, is why it's time for us to act. We have to help small businesses survive and give them the assistance and tools they need to adapt. Many local businesses use their physical presence to cater to the local market and their e-commerce, if they had any at all, to sell to a broader audience. In a pandemic, the local presence is virtually wiped out. Consequently, those who have hesitated at the idea of taking their businesses online are, out of necessity, now looking to the internet for a lifeline. For many, that means completely adapting their business model to the internet, with some adding e-commerce for the first time and others looking to add features such as local delivery to cater more to their local market. Others may just need useful information on what they can and can't do. This is a problem that has a scale we have never seen, and the timeline for these companies to adapt is non-existent. This needs to span the entire gamut of digital expertise from technical development assistance to marketing help. That's a big problem. Too big for any one person or even a small group of people to make a noticeable difference. No, it's going to take an organized, large-scale effort the likes of which we have never seen to try to solve this issue. Luckily, the wheels are already in motion and the effort is gaining traction. It's going to take some key ingredients to be successful, but I'm already so proud of the effort that has gone into it thus far. The movement is called Offline to On, and I've included a link in the description of this video. Now, this movement is going to need a few key ingredients to be successful. First, we need merchants willing to fight to save their businesses. Now, I understand that times are tough and the outlook is grim. But now's the time to stoke those flames that led you to grow this business and find the passion to fight to save it or to go down swinging. We've come too far to give up now. It's going to be difficult. Just know that there are good people out there willing to help and Offline to On is organizing them to make it easy for you to ask for the assistance you need. Our goal is to help you get online as fast as possible because in a situation like this, time matters. Second, to be successful, we need to provide a central source of unbiased, reliable information. Things are changing quickly, and it's nearly impossible to keep up. We have industry experts already compiling relevant information so that you have one place to go to find out information or ask questions if you need to. The next thing that we need to be successful is an army of people willing to help. Now, this particular movement is about helping merchants with challenges that they are facing trying to adapt their business to the current situation. In about a day, this movement amassed over 600 commerce experts worldwide ready and willing to help, and that's before the service has even launched. That number is going to skyrocket. People are out there looking for ways to help others, and that's the most encouraging thing about this situation we find ourselves in. Volunteers have been working tirelessly to put together an organizational structure to maximize the efficiency of that army. A single place where they can match merchant needs and requests with experts who can help them solve their challenges or answer their questions. And also a place where the e-commerce community can come together to start tackling problems like distribution, shipping, staffing, and all the other things that are completely out of whack right now. This offline to on movement is all about finding solutions for you and moving forward. The fourth thing that's needed to be successful is that it can't be all about the money. 
No one is expecting you to put your business at risk to help someone else. But if your goal is to jump in here and use it as a major revenue generator, then you need to get the hell out of here with that. Most of these merchants have everything on the line and we need to be considerate of their needs. That's why this movement itself is nonprofit. Now that doesn't mean you must offer something for free to be able to help, but be mindful of the difficulties that these businesses are experiencing. I'd been sitting around for the better part of a week trying to figure out how to help the most businesses possible. And there's only so much one individual can do. But by joining together, we can really amplify our capabilities and make a real difference in this problem. I was lucky enough to stumble upon this movement already in progress early on, and I'm excited to see so many people come together to selflessly help others. If you're an expert in any portion of online commerce, PR, marketing, technical assistance, and you are looking to help, or if you're a merchant that is needing assistance, please go to offlinetoon.com and sign up. A link is in the description of this video. You can also do me a favor and help me spread the word. The wider we can get this message, the more people we can get to help and the more businesses that we can then assist. So create your own post on social media or share this one. Hit that like button, comment down below, see if we can't trigger that algorithm to more people so that more folks see this and know that help is available. I appreciate your assistance in advance and thanks for watching.